Hey guys, it's Richie with uh, Fine Tutorials 101, and uh, don't forget to check out my channel, TLH Rocks 19N2. Not many tutorial videos yet, but they're coming. So today we're working on sticks, S T Y K Z. It's a program you can get for free online, and I explained all this in the last video. So this is part two of four in the uh, four-part series, obviously. Uh, today we're doing character design. Character design is a very important concept here because you do need to have something interesting to look at. You can't just have yeah, people put stick figures in there, but you need to have something more interesting with this program. Just, you can do it. Here, for instance, is a picture of my uh, Link character I made. Uh, remember I told you how you could use this white tool right here, this white cursor to sub-select, and click the body parts and make them different colors. So let's just make another one of this guy. And it starts pretty simple. You just do figure, sticks figure, or control all five, I guess, and then all that. And you notice how they look the same if I were to do this. We're just going to put them in the same position so you can see the comparison. And I know you're looking at this one glove going, hey, that one glove is lighter over there. This one's actually lighter than this one. It's meant to be like that because in the game he's wearing um, a piece of armor on this one, like a lighter piece of armor. I just wanted to put that in there so it looks kind of more realistic. So here's our other Link. We'll call him Clone Link. Now what you can do is you can just take your white clicker tool and you're going to click here and then hold shift, click here, here, you don't have to hold shift, but it's faster. So you're going to click on the whole body part. You're going to go to color and select a dark green. There you go. You got your link. Well, it's close at least. These other parts are still kind of black. So let's click here and here. We're going to go blue. And dark blue. Pick your start off color. I'm going to pick a dark blue. Then you're just going to click this one only. Click off and click this one only. Now you're going to do this. Define custom color. And see right here the slider? Slide it up. And that'll make it a lighter shade of blue. It's a little trick I learned. So it doesn't look exactly like this one because this one had low saturation. But it is... Here, let's do this. Click here again. Define custom color. This is what I was talking about with saturation. Play with this. That'll make it more grayer. So let's see if I make it 220. No. 200. A little bit less. There we go. Click OK. And now it should look like this one. So your saturation is a basic. It's a little bit like that one. It's flatter. It's not so dark. Your saturation is a basic uh, control you need to know for when you're making pale colors or stuff like that or pastel colors. Uh, the boots, I just simply went in the color and selected a brown. Whatever brown that might be. I think it was that one. Close enough. And then I clicked the head. Now the head is not actually a color, it's a defined color. So click this color button, go to define custom colors, and you're just going to click up here until you find a color that looks like skin. And then it's not going to look like skin there, but it'll look like skin up here. You want to just click where you think it looks skin colored. But add to custom, because you're going to need that later. So now you've got like a tan link. He's very tan, Zelda loves him because he's tan. Go to fill color, because this one doesn't have it, but I want to fill his face in. Yeah, it looks good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give him some hair, because what's Link without hair? So let's go back to the color here. Click it. Oh, my bad. Click off this. You don't want to color his face. Go to the line tool. Go to color. Yellow. OK. Oh, it didn't work, you know. Right, let's see. Drag that out of there. And you won't be able to see him, but you can still click him. I'm just going to click this and make it yellow, like his hair. Because Link has that luscious gold hair flowing around and all those different ways and everything. Alright, so now I'm going to make his hat, which is basically three segments. Oh, you know, that hair doesn't look right, whatever. So now you're just going to click here and draw out a segment. I'm going to click here and draw out a segment, a little bit shorter. And then draw a more short segment. Select this one and go to 40 for width. And like I was saying, you play with the width to make it better or um, not 140. To make it better or smaller. Notice how that is on top of his head now. It's more of a like. It's more like a thing hitting him in the head. So I'm gonna go here, and this is how you're gonna do this. Remember the custom colors. You're gonna click here, then go to define custom. And just drag this up a little bit. Right about there. 
You're gonna make this 30. You're gonna go by tens. And then to make your last one, you's gonna go back, select that color. Everybody knows that. What is defined? Drag it up to light. Now it's gonna be really light. Then you're just gonna make this 20. Now here's how you do this. You look at this and you go, it looks like he's got a giant tapeworm attached to his head that's green. Well, no. Because now you click this, arrange, set it back, click, arrange, set it back, click, arrange, set it back. And if you just click this back here, drag this down. I may have made this segment too long. So now notice I made this first part too long. So what you do is you click control, click the segment, I think it's control, and just drag it in. It'll make it go smaller. Control, drag it in. You can do that just to edit your, your pieces and make it look good. Now this thing looks a little bit cooler. Ooh, cool.